something else that all looks quite good. Sure. And uh, the dining is super yeah. and the chef Well, I'll tell you, I've been coming to Las Vegas um, for a long time. I mean, really, even in the last three or four years. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, t to be honest, my very first time in Vegas, in Las Vegas ever, was only about seven years ago. And um, even in the last seven years, the city has transformed itself. Um, obviously, with Aria and the city center, um, with Encore, with uh, the Cosmopolitan, I mean, just even in the last four or five years, this, the, the kind of standards just seem to get higher and higher. And I really don't think there is a top chef in this on this planet that doesn't have a restaurant in Vegas. And the reason is people are here to spend money, they're educated, they love to eat. Sometimes we get some extraordinary guys, ah. and then you get some of the uh, of the week. Ah. Sometimes. I'm here sometimes. It does. But is it disgusting? Can you take out the way for pun intended? Oh, pun intended. Oh. so quick in a way to condemn reality shows. Right. What do you think the top chef has done in the quotes for the industry? Yeah. Um, I have to add... Also for the public, when they go into a restaurant. Yeah, good question. And I have to I'm very proud, as you can imagine, when we first started our show, um, we had no idea we became a city. We all were taking it in a risk. What if we became the laughing stock of our industry? But we quickly learned that our production company and Bravo, our the, you know, the network, wanted to make authentic television about what it really took to be a chef. And they put everything behind it. They gave them a kitchen with everything they needed. They let the drama be about the food and not about their personal lives. There's very little on the show that's actually just a little behind the scenes so that there's a storyline. But we really don't focus on, you know, their love lives, the scandals back home. It's, it's about the food. Uh, Tom Kalikia, our head judge, has been adamant since the beginning um, about making it about the food. And I think what it's done for the restaurant industry is that Food and Wine and Bravo together have really swung open the door to the kitchen for the world to see. And with it, you learn some of the things you thought you'd never want to know about being in a kitchen. But I think what the world has also learned is what an extraordinary craft cooking really is. Uh, to be a professional cook, what it takes, how much work and dedication and stress and commitment it really takes. Um, since the beginning, since 2006, so we've been shooting for six years, but we've been on air for almost almost six years. So, do you think the whole standard of the chefs and what they do with food and how the public is reacting to them in restaurants? 
Yes. There's no question. I mean, I think that for me, when I think about the reason that I do the show, it's because everywhere I go now, and this wasn't the case 10 years ago, obviously people didn't know me, but it's in general, people come up to me and say, thanks to your show, I now read a menu differently. And thanks to your show, my kids now want to cook with me in the kitchen. And I'm trying new things. And I never knew what, um, you know, romesco sauce was. And I never knew what a chiffonade was. And I never knew, you know, the difference between a small dice and a medium dice in my vegetables. Or I never, you know, cared about my, keeping my knife sharp. And now the yellow of this stuff. I have to believe that it is upping all of our standards. You know. Mr. Robin, I'm just going to grab you off of one side. Oh. Mr. Robin, that good? Perfect. Thank you so much.